The 12 Centra AI assistants can create and post on your social media, write your emails, book your meetings, reply to clients, and so much more. The question is, how? Let me show you in this Centra AI tutorial, from the Centra Brain AI setup to using the assistants for social media or sales AI automation. I'll go through it all in detail. So to get started, obviously you need a Centra AI account. You can scan this QR code or click the link in the description, which will lead you straight to the Centra website. And if you input the code CYBERNEWS65 at checkout, you'll get a discount that cuts more than half of the original price. So don't miss out. For our CyberNews test, we went all in with the Centra X plan, with all 12 AI agents included. Each of them is trained to be a specialist in a specific area business development, social media, sales, copywriting, and so on. Plus, this plan includes 90 power-ups, aka various AI tools for specific tasks, from image generation to comment responder or business ideas generator. If you need at least a couple of different AI assistants from Sintra, the X plan makes the most sense financially, especially with the discount code. But you can also purchase a specific AI virtual assistant if you need help with just one specific area. Once you create an account, you'll see the assistants in the main dashboard, and you can start conversing with them right away. However, the most important starting step is to provide details about your project. Sintra makes this really simple. As soon as you create a new project in the Brain AI, Sintra will ask you a couple relevant questions. Think of the brain as the central storage for all your business info. This is what the AI agents will rely on to work effectively and provide responses or solutions that aren't random, but actually aligned with your brand. That said, you're not forced to type everything manually. You can upload your brand materials like your website link, presentations, related PDFs, technical documents, or visuals. Basically, put everything relevant to your brand in here. The more info Centra AI has, the better and more customized the results you'll get. Also, I took a look at their data safety, and I'm pleased to report that everything in the Brain AI is encrypted, and the data is only accessible to you and the AI helpers. By the way, you can create up to five different Brain AI profiles. Each profile is a separate workspace for a product, client, or business, whatever you need. Switching between them is really easy too, and you can delete the profiles when you're done with them. If you end up having multiple workspaces, you'll notice that you get different answers from the same assistant, depending on the profile you're on. And that's precisely because the assistant pulls the relevant info from the dedicated AI brain. So when you change profiles, it's like switching channels on your TV. Next up, you'll need to connect Centra to the platforms of your choice. You can do that with accounts like Facebook or LinkedIn for social media automation, as well as tools like Google Analytics or Notion, and many, many more. I was able to connect Google Drive, Calendar, and Gmail without any issues. On that note, your Centra account email doesn't have to match the emails you use for integrations. You can add any email address and easily work with multiple domains. Once you connect what you want, a Centra AI assistant can then create and post or perform some tasks directly on your accounts. You can also invite others to join in on your project and collaborate on automations. But even if you're on your own, the AI often will make proactive suggestions to make your life easier. For example, my social media AI assistant created a full five post per week LinkedIn content plan. And that was after I only made one post with her. Of course, I will approve every post before it goes live, so don't worry, you'll always remain in control. On that note, let's look at exactly how to use Centra AI assistance. I made a mock-up example of a cat shop. Actually, to begin with, I asked my dog Jojo if she'd let me do a dog shop instead with her likeness, and she said no, and her agent won't call me back. So yeah, here we are. Anyway, let's start this Centra AI guide by beefing up my social media presence. In this hypothetical scenario, I need a LinkedIn post about an upcoming cat fair I'm organizing. So I message Soshi, the social media assistant. What's nice is that she immediately asks follow-up questions like location, time, and details. After I answer, she creates a post with visuals that I previously input into the AI brain of this project. But you can also use the Sintra image generator to make unique images. It's actually pretty good. After I review everything and approve, so she then schedules the post. You can also set up weekly posting so she regularly provides content related to your project. 
I did this with LinkedIn as a test, but you can use other social media accounts. That said, some important integrations like YouTube or Shopify are still missing, but I heard they're about to be released. In fact, they may already have been released even as you're watching this now. If you want an even faster and more personalized shortcut, use Soshi's power-ups. They're in this little lightning icon here. For example, Soshi can not only write your posts, but also create your TikTok ideas and scripts. Honestly, I can see why this is their most popular assistant. It's really useful. Even if you need to make some fixes, it's much easier than starting from a blank page. So if you're still wondering whether to try Sintra, especially for AI marketing automation, I can definitely recommend it. Just don't forget to apply the discount code after picking a plan. Anyway, back to my cat fair, now I need to add the event to my calendar. And I can ask a virtual assistant, Vizzy, for that. She not only books meetings, but also coordinates event planning, travel logistics, financial analyses, and even designs eye-catching invitation images. Then she drops the event into my connected calendar and sums up the day. All right, now let's invite newsletter subscribers to the event. I just need to tell Emmy, the email marketer, what I need, and she collects all the info. Then she drafts the email and gets my approval. I can then send it to individual emails or via my mailing list here with a couple of clicks. If you're not doing a one-time event, I recommend instead opening power-ups and creating a monthly email campaign calendar with Emmy. But she can also do things like generating an offer email for new subscribers. For this particular cat fair scenario, I also tried out AI sales assistant, Millie. She's optimized for lead generation and can design cold emails or scripts for discovery calls. Let's say I need to negotiate the price for the location I wanna rent, and I'm not really good at this kind of stuff myself. So I can ask Millie to write me a script and then even generate a sales contract with a dedicated power-up. Now, this is the kind of AI automation I'm definitely not against. It's not aiming to replace me, but rather to help me with mundane tasks. It delivers high quality results, and yet, I still remain in control. I won't go into detail about all the assistants in this Sintra AI tutorial because even if they're each specialized for different kinds of things, the basics are all basically the same. You just come to them with your requests or chat or use the power-ups for specific tasks. And really, the whole Sintra AI platform is intuitive. I have no doubt you'll get the hang of it after a few minutes of exploring. And if anything comes up, feel free to ask questions in the comments. Thanks for watching, and if you're just now thinking of getting Sintra AI, don't forget to use the coupon code to lower that price. Bye.